morning guys, or it's probably afternoon or night wherever you're watching, but today I'm gonna be showing you how to do a handstand and also sharing all my tips and secrets to holding it for a really long time. And if you're wondering, yes, I've already uploaded a handstand tutorial, but in that video, I messed up the voiceover, and so like half of the comments said, is this ASMR? But I felt like I really needed to do a handstand tutorial 2.0 by Olivia. So, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Every handstand should begin in a lunge and then you will transition into this T position before doing the actual handstand. But before doing anything, establish which is your dominant side. Usually if you're right-handed or better at the right splits, your left leg will be in the air. And left-handed or better at left splits, your right leg will be in the air. Just do whatever feels most natural to you. Now practice just getting both feet off the ground by kicking very lightly. You can also try walking your feet up a wall like this. Once you've got that last step down, now attempt kicking all the way up. If this is your first time, I recommend kicking onto your bed so you have something soft to land on. Then move over to the wall and practice kicking up. When I was first kicking up the wall, I liked to have a pillow under my head because it helped me build my confidence to kick all the way up knowing there was something soft under my head. You can also try this other wall method to get comfortable with getting your legs high up in the air. The proper way to fall is by falling into a bridge. Do not be afraid of falling. As long as you land in a bridge every time and keep your arms sturdy, you won't fall incorrectly and hurt yourself. Also, from my own experience, I have never seriously injured myself with handstands and I've fallen in some of the worst ways. So I think you'll be fine. Your form is vital to balancing your handstand, so here are a few pointers. First, make sure your arms are not too far apart. Your arms and shoulders should be up by your ears from the beginning when you're in your lunge and they should stay there as you kick into the handstand. Make sure you have an engaged core, so don't curve your spine and let your core fall loose. Also, make sure to tuck your butt in. This next tip really changed the game for balance in my handstands. Make sure you push up and through your shoulders. Do you see the difference between the first and second clip? You basically want to always be reaching for the sky during your handstands, so aim to push your shoulders up. And if you're having a hard time pushing your shoulders up, you need to work on your upper body strength. Make sure you squeeze your thighs together. Point your toes, it's like the cherry on top to the aesthetic of your handstand, and it also makes a big difference in your balance. Lastly, I made this diagram of how the form of a handstand should be for anyone who wants to screenshot this for a reference. <laughs> The form is most important to balancing because if nothing is aligned, you will fall out of your handstand. Use the wall to work on your form. <laughs> Upper body strength is vital to balancing your handstands. You need that strength to hold yourself up and control the alignment of your body. I noticed that all the people I've seen who balance their handstands for a long time have a great deal of upper body strength. I recommend checking out my ab and arm strengthening videos which will be linked in the description. Separate your fingers so you can grip the ground easier. Think of it as a teeter-totter, so when you begin to fall forward, curl your fingers at the front a little to push yourself back. And if you begin to fall backward, try shifting that weight to the palm of your hand so you fall forward a little. And you can also use your fingers to slightly pull you back to center. Practice doing this on all fours to get a feel for it. Breathing is something people tend to forget when doing their handstands. Inhale when in your prep, and exhale as you go into your handstand. During your handstand, breathing through your nose is more ideal than through your mouth. 
The double stag is actually easier to balance than a regular handstand because you have the weight of both legs distributed evenly on each side, so I recommend practicing that once you've got the basic motions of a handstand down. The split is another variation you can try for fun, and it makes for an impressive photo. Filming yourself will give you perspective and show you what you can be improving in your handstand's form. I do this often, and I have noticed great improvement from it. When doing your handstand, think and aim to reach to the sky. So really push up and through your shoulders, tighten every muscle in the body, and act as if you're pushing off the ground, trying to reach your feet higher towards the sky. Finding your center is also an important factor. You will know when you find your center at certain times because you'll be able to balance it for a longer period of time. It's kind of like this perfect curve in your spine and like your butt is kind of over your head. It's hard to explain, but how do you find your center? That leads to my last tip, which is practice. Practice, perseverance, and confidence. I love doing handstands and notice that the more I practice, the better I got and the longer I was able to balance it. And that's just common sense because almost anything you keep practicing, you improve. Of course, you also need to never give up. Practicing it for a day won't yield great results. Improvement occurs within the things you do daily. I do handstands all the time, sometimes not in the most appropriate places like my principal's office, but let's just keep that a secret between us. Your mind is so powerful, and there have been times where I physically couldn't seem to do a handstand, but I told myself I can do this and got hyped up and surprisingly held it for a very long time. So it's true what they say, the body achieves what the mind believes. Remember, I can do this. I can and I will. End of story. Just see.